This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Las Vegas. It wouldn't be a Las Vegas fight week if I didn't get Jeff Mayweather on. Jeff, what's going on? How are you doing? I'm good, man. Yeah. It's good to hear, Jeff. Obviously, a huge occasion this Saturday night with Terence Crawford and Sean Poulter. Welterweight title fight is always big uh, in this country. Talk me through the fight. Um, well, it's, I'm, I'm very excited about the fight. Um, I think that, you know, it's a great, great fight. I mean, I really, really like both guys. And I really don't want to make a a pick of who who I think going to win, but you know, um, still I'll make my pick. And basically, I'm like pretty much like most people. They feel that Crawford. I think Crawford is probably one of the most complete fighters in boxing right now. You know, along with um, Canelo, I would say. I mean, in terms of being able to fight um, left-handed, right-handed, um, Kim is a good puncher, um, has pretty sound defense as well. And, um, you know, but I think that Porter's going to bring the best out of him. I mean, because he's going to have to be on, he had to be on point to actually, you know, still beat um, Sean Porter because Sean Porter is a, is a complete dog when he gets in that ring. He makes everybody work. You mentioned Canelo and Crawford in the same sentence there. Who do you see at the moment as pound for pound number one? Um, I think Canelo is, is, is number one right now. I mean, I think he's number one hands down. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think that um, Crawford has has beaten, you know, quite a few fighters. But at the same time, Crawford hasn't fought a lot of names. And, and Canelo has fought name, name after name after name. And so basically, so I would give, you know, I would give that, that, to, um, to um, Canelo. Let's talk a little bit about Canelo. Of course, the WBC approved his move to cruiserweight to fight Lunga Makar. But what do you think about Canelo Alvarez at cruiserweight? Well, I mean, I think at cruiserweight is probably going to be um, it's probably going to be pretty much the same. I mean, I don't know much about the guy that he's fighting. I heard that the guy can punch, but that don't mean nothing. I mean, punching power don't necessarily win fights all the time. And the one thing is this is that um, also I think that right now, to me, Canelo is the best fighter in the world. And I think that if Canelo decides to go up to, go up to that, um, that division, he's yeah. going to win. Let's talk about the division up, our heavyweights. Uh, Tyson Fury, uh, we were expecting the WBC to order Dylan White as his mandatory. They didn't at the convention. Now that leaves Tyson Fury open to options. Let's just put Alexander Usyk and Joshua aside for the minute. There, they've got their rematch to to get on with. Who would you like to see Tyson Fury box next? Out of anyone? Um, to be honest, I'm kind of like Tyson Fury. What he said himself that he, him, and Wilder, they're you know they're they're three they're three fights. He has a lot of damage done to him, and he done a lot of damage to um, Wilder. And he said that he doesn't he doesn't even want a tough fight. He said he wants to take a fight and then call it a career. And I think he's earned that right, because I mean to be honest, I think that he's still, if he if he decided to fight anyone, I think that he's gonna win. Fair enough. Let's talk about his younger brother, Tommy Fury. Goes in against Jake Paul, December 18th. In what is promising to be a huge clash. Everyone's going to tune in for it, regardless of their opinions about YouTube boxing, Jake Paul, etc. Um, a lot of people are saying that's an even fight. Obviously, Tommy's a professional fighter. I know Jake is, but Tommy's been doing this since a young kid, been in the gym with Tyson, his older brothers, um, sparring for years and years. How do you see that matchup between Jake and Tommy? Have you seen much of Tommy? I haven't seen anything of him. So, I mean, I really can't speak on him. But um, if he has been boxing, um, you know, that long, he should win. And, um, and if he doesn't win, I guess he should do just like his, like his brother said, go change his name. <laughs> Jeff Mover, always good to get you on IFL TV. Look forward to a great night on Saturday here in Las Vegas between Crawford and Porter. And hopefully we get you on the channel back soon. All right, Jeff? All right. Thank you.